Ambassador and U.S. Senator Scott Brown belting out Born to be Wild and thinking about a political comeback. You served under President Trump as an ambassador. Do you see yourself doing that again? Well, that's really up to him. You know, I'm, I'm hearing through his potential transition folks that, you know, there may be something that they may want me to do. Uh, you know, I, like what? I, uh, yeah, listen, if, I'd be lying if I said I didn't, you know, think I could do a good job on the border. You know, Homeland Security. I mean, I was in the military for 39 years. Do you see yourself as a potential secretary? Of I don't see Security? anything. It's premature. I asked Brown if he thought vice presidential nominee Senator J.D. Vance was a good choice. He says they have something in common. He's a self-made person. He's a, kind of similar to me, you know, rags to, you know, for him, riches. Democrats are certainly criticizing yeah, his Democrats positions. Democrats are always going to criticize. I mean, as being too extreme. Yeah, that's what they do. You know, I mean, who cares? It's up to the voters. Brown says the public needs to know the full picture of the failure failures that led to the assassination attempt. It's unacceptable. You know, that type of thing should not happen. There's a complete breakdown on the perimeter. Sounds breakdown. like you have a lot of questions. Yeah, absolutely. you got to answer these questions immediately. Immediately. You can't let it linger. Brown is still in New Hampshire and says that's where he'll stay. Do you ever envision yourself coming back to Massachusetts and running? No, no. I'm from New Hampshire. So, no, I'm, I'm, I'm staying in, in New Hampshire. Now, Republicans, of course, all week have been pushing this theme of unity. Brown told me he's been at the convention and he watched Nikki Haley speak and he actually told me he texted her. He hoped she would speak at the convention and he's glad she accepted Ed. And, and Sharm, t talk to us about security, please. I mean, tonight is J.D. Vance. Tomorrow night is Donald Trump's night. Talk to me about security in that arena. You know, security in this arena, of course, very heavy, very tight. We can tell you earlier today we were making our way to the arena and we ran into some Massachusetts state troopers. Dozens of law enforcement agencies from all over the country are helping pitch in with security. About 45 troopers from the Massachusetts State Police Special Emergency Response Team uh, have, are out here. They are on the ground. They're specially trained in crowd control. And this was something the governor of Wisconsin had requested from uh, law enforcement agencies around the country to really help the Secret Service here in this moment where this major event uh, is underway. And they also took part in, they also helped with security in 2016 at the Republican National Convention as well and other events as well.